long and one of the movements that we she wants you to do is called a pistol squat um, even with me working out a lot and almost every day I find the pistol squat to be very hard um, so I'm going to show you how I modify the pistol squat so that I can work up into actually doing it the regular way or the non-modified way so I actually have an ottoman behind me that I use in my living room and I'm actually going to use it as a support mechanism for me during the pistol squat. So I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you. So pretty much I just get so my feet are about six inches away. My heels are about six inches away from the back of it. And I just pick up my foot just like you would doing normal pistol squat. All of the weight is pretty much in the ball to the heel of my foot. And then I just lift my arms out and I sit my hips back just till they touch the ottoman and then I bring it back up. So my knees never really go past my toes. So most of the weight is mostly in the heel of my foot. It's very hard even with doing it on the ottoman. The real way that they want you to do it is to actually go almost all the way down. <laughs> but obviously that's still a lot for me to do. So I would say if you have a coffee table, you have a chair, you have an ottoman, it's a really great thing to put underneath you um, as you do one of those. Um, go ahead and check out the Z-Wow workouts, I really like them. And as you can see, I got my sweat pink tank top on since I'm a sweat pink ambassador for fitapproach.com. So you can go over to their website and also check them out there. Um, if you guys have any questions, any fitness or nutrition related questions, please let me know. I'm having a lot of fun starting to do vlogs. Um, if you like them, if you don't like them, let me know. Otherwise, I'll check in with you later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.